This is the Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealer. Hi, everybody. You've caught your favorite little fish show right here on Fox Sports Southwest. This is your Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy. My name is Barry Stokes, and we've got a half hour packed full of all the latest fishing and outdoor news around Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. Now, also this week, I've got the latest news on a very disturbing fishing story out of Lake Fairfield in Southeast Texas and a major fish kill going on there. We've got your Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week. We'll be talking about carp fishing, believe it or not, on this week's show. A lot of fun for you and your kids. And we'll have your latest fishing reports by our team of reporters, including Cajun Phil and Kevin in Louisiana, Brian Hughes with Texas Freshwater, Bill Olson down along the Texas Gulf Coast, and Gary Dallahan in Oklahoma. We'll also have the Berry's Real Fishing feature and show you one of the largest carp you've ever seen caught in Texas. We'll have the big catch of the week, your strand Ask the Pro, and much more in the next half hour. But first, Heather is up with your Chevy Weekend Planner. According to the Selenar tables, the best fishing times this weekend will be right around sunrise. Peak hours will begin at 7.10 in the morning on Saturday and again at 7.50 on Sunday. Fish should also be active later in the evenings around sunset. The sun will rise at 7.13 and set at 7.29. Nights will feature a waxing moon 81% visible. If you are looking for something fun this weekend, check out the third annual Texas State Crappie Championship on Lake Ray Roberts at Lantana Lodge. Now back to Barry out at the lake. Thanks very much, Heather. We've made it out onto the lake on a late summer, early fall morning. Great weather around the region if you like humidity the last couple of weeks. Hey, I want to mention something special for our Facebook members. That's right, we've got a brand new Facebook page up and running. And each week, starting next week, we're going to put a sneak preview, little video clip and a photo album up on our Facebook page for Facebook members only. So each week you can get a little preview look at what's coming up on that week's episode. Check out all the information, ask a question, post a comment, Southwest Outdoors Report at Facebook.com. Lots of great stuff. Stay with us. When we come back, Gary Dallahan has the Oklahoma Fishing Reports, the Sooner Beat, and we'll have Barry's Real Fishing, the Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week, and much more. This is the Southwest Outdoors Report. Powered by your Texas Chevy dealer. Welcome back, everybody. Your Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy, rolls on as we head into your fall fishing season. But first, let's talk about Tropical Storm Hermine that moved up from the Gulf Coast last week, dumping a huge swath of rain all up through South Texas, South Central Texas and right on up into North Texas, five to eight inches of rain common all across that path. And in the meantime, it caused some major flooding damage to some of our Texas state park. Let's check on the latest on a couple of those. First of all, there were some trails damaged at Perdinalis State Park down in Central Texas, but the park itself has remained open. Mother Neff State Park near Waco had some storm and flood damage and was closed all of last week and is about to reopen. Lake Whitney State Park had a water main that was damaged and was closed all last week and this coming week until repairs can be made. There is no water at the park as of now. And near San Antonio, Goliad State Park was closed for some major flooding damage there. Now the good news is that there was no permanent damage done to any of these parks. Repair and cleanup operations are well underway. Most of those parks should be back open this week, but you are advised to call if you're headed to any of those state parks for a trip this coming weekend. Let's check in right now with Gary Dallahan, fishing reporter up in the state of Oklahoma, all your latest fishing reports on the Sooner Beat. As Oklahoma anglers, you have to like this time of year. Water temperatures are cooling, air temperatures are cooling, game fish and bait fish are about to come together, and when that happens, it's an amazing bite, so be ready for that. What I recommend for right now is, is go simple. Be prepared to catch a variety of different species with only three or four baits. When you do that, you're going to catch a lot of fish. They may be different sizes, they may be different kinds. 
Go with a small square bill crankbait, shad color. Go with a small spinner bait or inline spinner, a small soft plastic like a four inch soft craw, and even have that crappie jig on. Look for areas that have signs to tell you that bait fish is present and pay attention to those. I don't care if the seagulls are sitting on the water, on a point, or flying over the water looking for bait. If you see that going on, look in those areas because the bait fish aren't far, the bean fish are gonna be nearby too. As far as specific areas to concentrate on right now, your typical good white bass areas are good right now, Grand Lake, Fort Gibson Lake, Ufala Lake. And again, think about the small lures for them right now, such as a rooster tail, something like that. Archmouth bass, look at Lake Hudson, Sardis Lake and Greenleaf. All of those are reporting good bass fishing. But one thing about them, you can't catch them if you don't go. See you on the water. Just about the time you think we've done a little of everything in eight years here on the show, we've got a first for you this week. On Barry's Reel Fishing, we're showing you some giant carp fishing in the state of Texas. Well, on this week's Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week, I'm going to show you what may be the best carp fishing lake in the state. It's Town Lake that runs right through the middle of Austin, Texas. So let's show it to you right now on the Lawrence HDS, the high resolution bright screen unit, sonar and GPS that I use here on the Nitro Bass Boat. The lake is actually the Colorado River that runs through downtown. I-35 crosses about midway of the lake here. There is a small dam up on the east end of the lake near Lakeshore Park. There are boat ramps at Festival Park, under the I-35 bridge, and near the Holiday Inn just west of I-35. There's also a jogging trail that runs around the entire lower third of the lake with tons of bank access for good carp fishing. One more thing I'd like to show you this week is the Navionics app for your iPhone. You can get it at the App Store. You can see right now I have the app open and we're zoomed down to Town Lake and you can see the 290 bridge crossing the lake right here. And we've got the Google map overlay turned on so you can actually see all the surrounding shoreline. I can move around in the lake. And the cool thing, there's the main part of the lake. I can actually see all the contours. I can zoom in, see all the drop-offs all the underwater ledges, everything about the lake right here in the Navionics app for iPhone. So check out the Navionics app for your iPhone at the iTunes app store and check out Town Lake in Austin for some great carp fishing from the shoreline. That's this week's Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week. Stay with us when we come back. Cajun Phil and Kevin have your Cajun bites from Louisiana and we'll have that carp fishing special on Barry's Real Fishing. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by quality award-winning tracker boats, fish the finest, by Lowrance, makers of the HDS, high definition systems, and by Gene LaRue Lures and Bobby Garland Baits, quality soft plastic baits made in Oklahoma with American pride. <laughs>